How to take off a motherboard from a Toshiba laptop. This is an older style laptop. It's a dual core Windows XP. And the model is a Satellite L3 05. S5933 This model contains two different types of screws So make sure you properly um, know which type of screw for the holes You should get like a container or something that you will memorize the screw location The screw types are this little small guy that goes on the battery cover and the keyboard cover. And there's a standard screw that goes on the back cover and underneath the keyboard. And once you open it up, there's a cover right there. Just use a tool to get underneath it, like a little flathead screwdriver, a small one. I have a multi-tool screwdriver. This comes in handy a lot. Just do like this. Pops up. And you can access the screws that's holding the keyboard.
it just slides up, disconnect it, and disconnect all the cables. Make sure you remember where the cable goes, and make sure you double check all the cables if you um, forget to replug it back in. It happens, so just double check your work. Now that's done. You can just pop it out from the housing. And it just lifts right up. If it doesn't lift up, that means you forgot like a screw. Just like what happened to me. And there's the screw. When you lift something up, especially with the laptops, um, if it doesn't want to go up, don't force it. Try to see if you forget a screw or some some uh, a loca uh, screw on the location. Then. Um, See, uh, double check or do a search on the internet to see if there's like a little extra clip that's holding it in place. You don't want to break. You don't want to break anything on the housing. Forgot another, forgot another screw. Okay, it should then uh, lift up. As you can see, um, I already have uh, taken this apart, but the unit is still overheating. I'm trying to reduce it as much as possible without replacing the fan because the customer doesn't have the fan for replacement. Because I already know this fan is kind of shoddy. It still works, but it's still producing a lot of heat. I'm trying to put a thermal compound to help it to reduce it a lot better. Uh, best compound to use for laptop that I have seen. Um, personally, for the VGA chipset, I I would use the Cooler Master Fusion 400. And um, you can use the diamonds. Uh, you can use the diamond set like uh, like the Antec. Formula 7 or uh, other high-end um, thermal compound for the CPU but um, for the VGA and stuff like that I would use the Cooler Master and uh, that thing works really good because um, I have uh, Lenovo um, 510, 510p and you know those things get um, heated up pretty quickly I use it on the Fusion that thing never reach up to 60 degrees, so it stays below 60 uh, in the mid 50s. So it works pretty uh, pretty good. I will show you on the next video on uh, how to open up a Lenovo 510 uh, 510p uh, all the way to the uh, bottom of the unit. And to access the motherboard, there's two screws that's holding it on the board. Uh, one is on uh, the fan location, near the, near the fan location, 